I'm joined by Saurabh Bhardwaj, who is to be inducted in the cabinet of Arvind Kejriwal's government in the national capital. First of all, uh, many congratulations. Uh, but the question is, the time when you will be reappearing in the cabinet, it's possibly seen as the biggest crisis for Aam Aadmi Party in its past 10 years. It's going to be challenging? Uh, definitely. Uh, Aam Aadmi Party is facing one of its biggest challenges. We have faced challenges in 2013-2015. 2020 and in 2015 i think people had you know written off aam aadmi party there were a lot of people who believed that aam aadmi party is done so we have faced such things but yes these are challenging times especially because the central government is using all its might earlier the challenges were political but now the challenges is challenges are you know more of a federal government using all its might all its federal investigating agencies like CBI, ED, income tax, ACB against Aam Aadmi Party's ministers, MLAs and the party itself. So obviously uh, the political motive is that the central government wants to basically, you know, wants to finish us. They don't want our works like education or health to pro propagate, you know, in the country. That's why the target number one and the target number two are the health and education ministers. So we have taken up this challenge and the chief minister believes that, you know, no matter what, the works of Arvind Kejriwal government will not stop. They cannot be halted. We have plenty of MLAs with us. They can send our MLAs or the ministers to jail. We have another, another group of MLAs, you know, waiting to work for us. So we'll not stop. Right. Uh, but any indications on as to which portfolios might fall under you as and when you take the charge? Uh, I think it is yet to be decided by the Honorable Chief Minister. Once the file, you know, comes back from the President of India, then this will be decided. Uh, by when uh, you could be sworn in along with, uh, you know, uh, the swearing-in ceremony could be done along with uh, you and RTC getting into the cabinet officially? The administrative setup of Delhi is such that the file for the resignation, you know, goes via Honorable LG to the Honorable President of the country. Usually it is just a, you know, a formality, but uh, it's been our experience that this takes sometimes 15 to 20 days. I don't know why, but uh, till that time we have to wait. Right. Uh, with video journalist Abhishek Bhai, this is Amit Bhardwaj reporting for India Today from Delhi.